Hey guys, welcome back to my LP. In the last episode, uh, we're starting our great heart piece hunt. In this episode, we're going to continue it. We're going to, uh, turn back into a kid and get some heart pieces that we miss. Or at least, I should say, that we can now get, at least. You know, without any hacks, glitches, cheats, whatever. I'm doing the honest way. I'm doing the way the game intended it to be. And actually, this works out in my favor, because we have to do the next dungeon as a kid anyway, so I'm, I'll be already be a kid, and so I'll be ready. So, it's very conveniently timed, I guess. Anyway, let's put the Master Sword back to sleep, or at least probably for like an hour, maybe. <laughs> Rest assured, I will return. I just like how the Master Sword's like my height. <laughs> I am way too small. Okay. Um, let me think of an order to do this here. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, actually, there's one we're actually right in town here. I should probably get that one first, and I can teleport then later. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to town. Actually, let's go outside first, and, and then I'm, I need to play a song that can turn into nighttime. Oh, there is nighttime. Never mind. This is conveniently in my favor, then. Um, let's go ahead and equip this. So yeah, I guess it's, I got it timed out, right? That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and go over to this building far in the corner. And let's go talk to this guy. Open the chest and surprise! If you find a key inside, you'll be able to advance. Left to right, try your luck. Tender to today. Do you want to try it? Yes, I want to try it. And we get a door key. Open the door. Now, you use the lens of truth and you can't see what's inside. If I was to pick this chest, I'd get a green ruby. If I choose this chest, I'd get a small key. So, of course, I want the small key. The farther you go along in the game, the better the prize is. So, it's intended to be luck, but now with our magical abilities, we can cheat at this game. Hmm. That me down, up. I'm going. To, I'm going for up next time, or up down, I should say. So I'm guessing for up. Uh, I should. I should use one just before I open it. Otherwise, I would, I would have just lost right there. Uh. Okay, which one has it? Down again. So it's up, down, down, down. Hmm. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have guessed that. And we're getting close, and it's up. So up, down, 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 up. Hmm. Very curious pattern. I think that's the last one, I think. Yep. And the jackpot prize. Where is it gonna be? It's another heart piece. I should say winner! <laughs> uh see let's give a dialogue really quickly. <laughs> I'm like I'm like spam BNX, spam BNX or not BNX, BNA. I don't care what you have to say. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm LPing. I should probably let the other people read it. But oh yeah, it was just pretty much a winner. <laughs> well, bad thing it takes forever to get out of here. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and teleport to Mikhailia. Because there's a heart piece there, and also we need to go up to Zora's River. And. There is a warp there that'll take us up there, so that's very conveniently conveniently placed, I should say. Thing is, that's gonna be a short video though. I'll probably walk into the. I'll probably walk. I'll probably end the video walking into the Spirit Temple. That'd be a good way to start it. I think I need this far piece during the day or night. I should say. I don't know. We'll find out. If not, you learn things every day. Oh, whatever. Roll, Link, roll! We need to save 15 seconds of our time! Oh. Uh, for a second I had the door was there. I think, yeah, I think we can do this at night. Hello, mister. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met the old lady from the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. Ho ho ho! 
Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in the water. And let's see what's down here. Let's go ahead and dive. Five, four, three, two, one. What is that? I got a chime. Hmm. Let's talk to this guy again. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. Um, that doesn't scream stalker at all. You pressed the button just now. Fantastic! I'll give you this, I'll give this to you. And we get a piece of heart. So, how many do we have now? I believe that's... Okay, so yeah, we have three more. Um, the next two, I believe, are in a similar area. So it makes it a little easier to find them. Let's spam our B button. I probably hear it very well. Let's go dive. Should have no problem making this down here. <laughs> I mean, we have plenty of breath. With our new golden scale. More B button spamming. And let's go climb out of here. Yeah, it's down the river. The dogs have to hurt something outside. Whatever. Let's go out of the river carry us for a little bit. Oh, whatever, I don't care what you do. Let's try and get over here to the right. Okay. It's a little quicker if we get to the right here. Now let's go ahead and jump down here. And if you're, I, I believe I did this earlier in another episode, but I was doing this little thing with the frogs. Well, I believe there's only one more song. Yep, they only need one more song. And it's a song we learned in the future. So the sun, uh, as long as storm is from, that's my last song we need to play from, and the last frog will grow up. Wow, that melody is so cool. Ribbit. Sing in the rain. Oh, what a feeling. Ribbit. See, take this as a token of our froggish gratitude. Ribbit. All right, see you. Ribbit. And we get a piece of heart. Now, the next piece of heart. I'm not very good at getting. You have to play a little mini game with these guys. Wait, is there is there another song? Uh, what song did I not play for them? Okay, because I, I just uh, let's figure out what song I did not. Oh man, I didn't play this song yet. Huh? I thought I played all those songs for him. Hmm. But yeah, you, if you play a song of storms, you get. Uh, a heart piece from them, but I guess that's not the song they were looking for. There we go. I'm glad you did the Ocarina well. Mmm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. You should all practice it, Ribbit. Take Ribbit as a souvenir. You come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it. Ribbit, Ribbit. Alright, I think I don't think you were nice. Okay, now let's see the mini game I was talking about. Now, I'm not really good at it. Look at us, we're all huge frogs. We're the world's famous, fabulous, five frogs. Let me get stuff so we can eat the bugs flying above us, right? Okay, then ready, set, go! Okay. Oh. I can't remember which, I can't remember which uh, frog is associated with what. Well, I can play two. It's actually the same pattern every single time, but I don't have to memorize. However, I have my trusty little iPad right here, right next to me. And, uh... Let me find me where I wrote down the pattern at. Give me a second. Uh, okay, it's right here. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. You guys ready? Ready, set, go. Oh. Okay. So, I say, I'm not very good at it. I'll try and do it here as, as best as I can. Boy, you did great! Perfect! We are stuffed, Ribbit! Shoot this token of our gratitude? I most certainly will. And some piece of heart. So that's all nice and dandy. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and warp. Let's go ahead and warp over here to the desert. 
is we only have one heart piece left, and Desert Colossus has the last heart piece. But as from right now, we can't really get it yet. I'll explain why in a second. The heart piece is on top of that pillar over there. Can't really get up there as of yet. But what we can do is with my trusty bugs and magic beans, there is the last soft little spot right here. So let's go ahead and put the bugs in it. I will not need the bugs back. And I will shove this magic bean in there. Run and let the soldier come out. Come on, face this way. Come on, there we go. Okay, so now the soldier. And how many does that give us now? 89. Ooh, we're getting right up there. Uh, and then there's five in the dungeon, and then there's one or two out here in the Desert Colossus, and then the last one. Okay, there's, yeah, there's one there, and then there's only like three. I am not 100% sure where they are at. But with our trusty little map, we kind of see which areas are left, and we will be able to figure it out. Okay. So let's go ahead and enter the dungeon here, and I think I'm going to say that's going to be our wrap for this video. In the next episode, we will venture into the spirit temple as a kid. I will see you then.